And today in this story, you will learn how to read the long I sound. So there are words to sound out that um, make the long I sound. And those words are kite. And I'll circle the words. And ride, so ride your bike. Or time. Sometimes it takes a long time to get your present. And then we can glide, like glide in an airplane. We can be outside and we can be nice. So those are the words with the long I sound today. All right, well, let's see what the story has to tell us. The magic school bus rides the wind. Do you like my kite? Asked Wanda. So here you see Wanda with a multicolored kite looking out the window. And yes, says Ralphie. Ralphie is the guy in the green shirt and he has a yellow kite and he's also looking out the window. Time to take it outside, he says. The wind is strong outside, my kite says Wanda, look at that, her kite is blowing away. Oh no, the wind was so strong that it ripped it out of her hands. I hope she can find it and get it back. Time to ride, says Miss Frizzle. Time to ride, let's glide. Glide, outside, ask Arnold. What about a nice ride on the ground? So here you see the bus has a kite on it. That's strange. Yeah, that's, that's, that's sort of strange that the bus has a height on it. And Arnold says, Arnold says, what about a nice ride on the ground? I don't think Arnold's too excited about gliding in the bus. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, look at that. You see the bus is flying right there. It's gliding with its kite over the clouds. And we all Yeah. There's my kite, says Wanda. Wanda sees her kite. So right there's Wanda's kite. She found it. It's also flying. This is a nice glide, says Arnold. So Arnold apparently likes gliding in the bus. And I don't know if you know this, Lots of things can ride the wind. Kites and sailboats and clouds and birds, all sorts of things can glide in the wind. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Where is my kite? Wanda asked. Where is my nice ride? Asked Arnold. Look at that. I think the bus is tilted. It's not straight. It's not flying flat. Looks like a fun ride. I think I got mixed feelings about riding a bus that's flying. In some ways, I think it would be fun, and sometimes I think it would be a little bit scary. There's my kite, says Wanda. See, says Miss Frizzle, that was nice and easy. And even here again, you see the bus is sort of at an angle, right? It's not flat, so everybody's leaning to the one side. <clears throat> but can you see? It looks like they're going down, and you can see all the fields below them. <clears throat> yeah. Some of you have, have never flown before. I hope you can fly because flying is a wonderful thing. She needs your mask. And now we glide down to the kite, and it's still windy outside. So the kite is still flying by itself. Let's see if they can get it. Got it, says Wanda. It's about time, says Arnold. He couldn't believe it took that long to get it. So that's the story. And it's a little bit far-fetched. And I don't know if you know what that word means, but that means it's probably not really going to happen, but it's at least fun to think about. And... What's important to know about this story is things about the wind. And all over the earth, air is being heated by the sun. So the sun's up above us and it comes down and it heats the earth. And right on top of the land, the sun 
the warmth of the sun stops. And so the air at the land is warm. Um, but because air is warm, and it means it's lighter, it's not as heavy as cold air. So the warm air moves up and the cold air moves in underneath it to fill in the space. And then this air movement makes the wind blow. And the wind could be a gentle breeze or it could be a powerful gale. Um, and that depends on the variations in the cool and warm air. Now, that wind then, like we already saw, can lift things. It helps birds to fly. It helps planes to fly. It makes the leaves um, fall and glide from the top of the trees. We probably saw some leaves falling here recently, and the wind kept them flying for a little bit. Um, and the wind can go in different directions. It can go up. It can go down, sideways, this way, sideways, that way, or this way, or that way. It can go in all sorts of different directions, and it can even go in a circle, and it causes, sometimes when it goes in a circle, it can cause a tornado or a hurricane. I'm guessing some of you can, or some of you know what a hurricane and a tornado are. Me <clears throat> too. I know. And wind can be used as energy as well, which is really interesting. So wind can turn the blades of a windmill and make power. So some of you may have seen these big, big, huge, tall white posts when you're driving through the countryside and they have big windmills at the top. They have big propellers, you know, probably uh, 200 feet up in the air and the wind moves the propellers around and those propellers make power then and the power, um, can get to some of our homes. And so some of our homes have uh, power that comes from windmills. And so when you plug something into the wall, like a toy, like an electronic toy, or maybe you make some toast and you plug your toaster into the wall, the power that's coming from the wall is actually coming from the windmill in some cases, not every cases, but some cases. 